Yeah, da, da. And they're not cute. Me? I feel like I'm not. No. There's no concurrence, you know what's going on. Little mini apple. Let's try to look after a mindre one. Let me see. Yeah, sorry. No. Fint. Er det så kan man spise det der inde i? Ja. Uh, men det fandt det først tørre. Mm. En krankhål. <laughs> den kan du også spise, ja. hvis du virkelig vil. Det... En lille en. Den er der næsten. Så kan vi lave limonade ud af den her. Ja. Hello, little tiny. So the vlog is going to be a little bit all over the place because I'm just going to be filming randomly in bits and pieces but I just showered, I got ready. I want to take some pictures for my best friend's brand. She's coming out with a clothing brand, a active wear brand and I want to take some pictures for her uh, so when she launches she have a couple of pictures to post as well. It's really cute. This is like off the shoulder. Oh, hello! Oh my god! Wait a second. A baby kitty. Hello. This is Timmy, who's my mom's other cat. Mm. He is so cute. Anyways, before I got distracted by the cat, I am right now looking for a bag. So my mom is at work and my mom's boyfriend Morgan is also out of the house. So I'm alone here right now <laughs> and I'm looking for a bag so I can put like my shoes and camera and stuff in there. So I want to go out in the field. I don't have to walk there with my sneakers because I did that yesterday. And look, look what happened. I was trying to clean them a little bit on the side. But I might have to like hose them down because this is unacceptable. I definitely cannot go to the gym with these right now. <laughs> so I gotta wash them. But I'm thinking about I'm gonna borrow these. I scoped them out. I'm, like, I'm definitely wearing these. <laughs> but then I'm gonna bring my shoes out to the field. So I'm thinking I want to see if I can go out there. Like behind all the critters and out on the field. It just looks so beautiful with the view. So I'm gonna try to see if I can take some pictures out there. So I'm looking for a bag that kind of looks like that. Come on, Timmy. Where's the bags? <laughs> okay, I couldn't find any bags, but I just wanna show you guys this thing because this is actually a tripod that I brought. I am going to be using this while I'm here. Look. How genius is that? So I can just... Take it anywhere and take pictures anywhere. It's work. I'm out here. It looks so pretty. I just have to take off my hoodie and it's a little bit cold. <laughs> what you don't do for content. Also, look, there's like windmills down there. I can't really show you guys when I take the pictures just because I'm using my phone to film and I'm also using my phone to take the pictures. <laughs> Okay, so we out here. I don't know how good the mic is, but I just took some pictures out here. This is the outfit. You guys get the vision, right? It actually isn't as cold as I thought it would be. It's funny, both the cats followed me out here. I can imagine when my mom do like housework in the yard they will be snooping and following every single step that you do. Have you guys ever taken pictures and then you had this on your hand the whole time? Yeah, that was me. So this is, yeah, tuck. Okay. There you go. A wasp, you guys. Oh my god, it's getting closer. Okay, 
So this is the store outside. Like, this is the store. It's so cute. It's so cute. It smells so good in here as well. So what would you say you sell most? You sell Bruce Kunst and most toy. And so there's Bruce Kunst and Puda. Så tror jeg faktisk to tredjedel, det træner. Okay. Og så er det bruskunst og boligtekstiler. Altså boligtekstiler. Altså tekstiler og sengtøj og puder. Ja. Især puder. Især puder. Especially pillows. Pillows and clothes. And soaps. He has so many good things in here. Really like vintage looking leather purses. And there's even like paintings, like vintage looking paintings. A lot of it is very like organic and it just smells so good. And you go with my friend Bill. Tror du, vi må give den æble? Ja, ja. Æble, 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 æble. Det ligger der. Mmm, den vil virkelig have. you guys in some time my mom is driving right there she just dropped me off i am going to take the train to copenhagen because i'm picking up a car so i have a car here but i haven't driven for seven years so we were just driving for about a half an hour just now with my mom practicing making sure i remember how to drive and i definitely did not at first I don't know how you can get a driver license and basically not drive for years on end and then legally can still get in a car. It's crazy, but I was practicing this morning and I'm remembering most things now. <laughs> I'm just like a little bit nervous to get on the highway, but I'm pretty sure I can manage. It's only like in the city, it's kind of a little sketch or like I'm just a little bit nervous, I guess. But besides that, I feel pretty confident because we out here, unlike the countryside where there is not as many cars on the road and people drive just like pretty calm. But I'm really excited to have a car so I can finally go to the gym and work out. So that's the update. I'm waiting on the train so I can go to the city. I have not taken a train in Denmark. It's been about 10 years because I had a car for a couple years before I moved. Yeah, and honestly, I'm super excited to take this train because the trains here are so nice compared to the trains in the US. <laughs> Especially if you compare it to the metro in the city. These are definitely much nicer, but I'll show you guys. Yeah. An hour later and I'm back home. I cannot believe I made it back in one piece. It's been seven years since I drove on the highway and I would be lying if I didn't say that I was shitting myself just a little bit. Uh, it was definitely a little nerve wracking, but I made it in one piece. So that's good. Good sign. I feel like I'm getting a hang of it. Like the first time I was driving, I did not remember anything. I gotta be fully transparent with you guys. I did not remember anything. I sat behind the car, behind the wheel. My mom sat right next to me and I had to ask my mom, where is the brakes? Where is the speed?
But yeah, I made it and now I have a car. I am actually so excited. Thank God for my dad. He got me a car, just a rental. Uh, he borrowed from one of his friends. And now I can go to the gym literally every day if that's what I wanted. I can go see my old friends. I can even meet other people to do collaborations. So I'm just really, really excited to obviously have the freedom. It's just a Suzuki. I used to have a Suzuki as well when I lived here. So I feel really comfortable behind the wheel. I am driving with shift or like stick. Uh, I grew up driving with stick. So I definitely feel the most comfortable driving with that. Yay! I am going to try to find a gym today. I'm actually wearing active wear. So my mission for today, since I have the car now, is to find a gym that I can hopefully work out in and hopefully they don't spaz too much about me filming in there. I know most gyms in like New York is fine with you bringing a tripod, but <laughs> I'm out of the countryside. So I'm a little bit nervous, but I'm really excited to finally work out. I have not been working out in Denmark since I lived here, so I'm really excited to see if any of the gyms are any good. I think I'm just gonna do a full body since I haven't worked out since I left. So I think I'm just gonna, you know, completely do a full body. And if I get to work out again tomorrow, uh, I might just do upper or lower depending on the intensity of today. I am also babysitting. I don't know where the little one went, but I'm looking out for the kitten. While I was getting ready, oh, there he is. Yep. I brought him downstairs so he can get used to the house. I took him down after I showered, so obviously I can keep an eye on him when I need to. But he is super excited. Uh, I don't think you're allowed to do that. I think my mom has her work cut out for her with this one. He is so hyper, but he's super, super sweet. Super sweet, but he's very hyper. Hopefully he calms down a little bit as he gets older. So for today's outfit, I'm just wearing the Composure Seamless Collection. I really like this one for back day. I feel like, oh, I'm full there. I feel like you can get a really good back pump with this sports bra. And then I'm just pairing it with this. It's a little bit of an older jacket I also have for my protein, but I really, really like how it's super shape fitting. And I feel like it goes perfect with this seamless collection. Since seamless is very much like form fitting, this jacket is super form fitting. So yeah, I really like this one. I definitely don't use it enough, but it is all for my protein. They are starting to have some really, really amazing fits. And this is just one of the many, but I definitely recommend the Composure Seamless Collection. It just fits so well on the body. So I'm excited. I also think that I think I lost like at least a pound of like body fat while I've been here. Let me tell you why. The food here is so different. It's so much more, I would say cleaner. I feel like back in the US when I eat, I can't eat as much without it being higher calories. I feel like here I'm able to eat a lot more and it's not as color dense. So that's a very interesting. But enough talking, I'm going to head to the gym. I almost forgot before I leave, I brought my pre-workout with me to Denmark. I literally put it in my suitcase and I'm like, I'm not leaving without you. So I'm about to take a scoop of this, but of course I forgot my shaker bottle. It's like the one thing on the list that I could not forget, but I did. Good thing is that I have a bottle of water that I can bring me. And another plus, the water here literally tastes better than bottled water, like the water from the sink. One thing that I have missed so much is Danish tap water, but it is not tap water like, like the US tap water. This water tastes great. And I'm pretty sure everybody can drink from it. You know when you travel somewhere like US or like most of the world, you're not supposed to drink the tap water? But in Denmark, you can drink the tap water. Now, the only thing is that I have to fit the scoop into the bubble hole and good luck with that. I think I might do it in the sink because I will definitely make a mess. So I'm only going to take about half a scoop like this and I'm going to try to fit it. Okay, I need both hands. Okay, I made like a little contraption. Most of it is going in the bottle. Perfect! 
Now I am ready to go. Driving through the New York rain, roll down my window and let the rain in. You call me by the name, too late to turn home. We chase the night away. car it's raining right now but that was such a good workout i really really like the gym the only thing is that when i was trying to sign up i was standing there for almost 45 minutes i couldn't sign up because you had to service yourself you're signing up on like a pc uh there's no like people to assist you no front desk people so when i put in my phone number which is an american phone number it's much longer than a Danish phone number. So when I had to create the pen, it wouldn't let me inside the gym. So I had to wait for a front desk person to come from some random place. I don't know where they came from, 
but some really nice lady came and she helped me and I was able to work out. It was actually really nice, the gym. It was much nicer than I expected because this is a really small town. I didn't think it was going to be that nice. I thought it was going to be a little bit more old school. It was actually really modern and really nice. I signed up for two weeks, so I'm here for a week and a half more, 10 more days. I'm definitely going to come back tomorrow. Uh, that's probably going to be a different video. I feel like this video has gotten already super long so i'm gonna go uh probably to a grocery store and get something to eat and then go home i have so much work to do actually my driving has gotten a lot better i feel like i'm used to it now so i'm getting my confidence back i'm back home uh excuse the mess i was sweating but i wanted to show you guys what i got from the grocery store because these things you cannot get in the u.s and i miss these things so much so for lunch we obviously have to get the danish bread i don't exactly know the translations for it but it's like a almost like a rye bread but not really lots of fiber i've seen some of it in the US, they label it sometimes as fitness bread, which is kind of funny. But in Whole Foods, I did see that they labeled it as Danish bread. So in some Whole Foods, they do have it, but not all, which is really unfortunate because it's so good for you uh, and your stomach and ingestion systems because it has so much fiber in it. So on the bread, we have this. I have a lot of seafood options and this is, uh, I love this so much. So this is i think it's herring herring fish herring and it's like marinated in curry sauce but it's very sweet and it's like it's also like some kind of like apple marinated sauce in it with the curry and it just tastes so good i think you're only supposed to eat this like a couple of times a week i know you cannot overeat it because of the metals in the fish this is something that they promote over here they want people to stay healthy because to go to the hospital is free over here so they do not want you to get sick that's why there's always disclaimers but it's still really good for you then we have mackerel salad so it's basically just like a mackerel mix as you can see with tomato sauce and like some mayonnaise I used to eat this a lot growing up. It's not like my favorite, but I saw it on the shelf and I'm like, I must try this again. I haven't eaten this since I was a kid. So I bought this as well. And then I also got, it's almost like a uh, fish meatballs. So it's basically just fish. I don't know exactly which one it is. Don't know the type of fish it is, but it's very similar to meatballs. These are the miniature version, but usually they're pretty big, like this big. And you can go into like an actual like fish place and get them like really warm and newly made and they taste so good. So I bought these like as a little snack too. And then lastly, I have my little candy here. Uh, the best way to describe a uh, rum cooler, it's like made almost out of like cake batter and it's mixed together. This is like chocolate. It has a little bit of sprinkles on, but the best way to describe how it's made, if you want to like have the real deal, you go to a bakery where they make cakes. And usually when they make cakes in the bakery, they shake the cakes, you know, they make them round. So the leftovers that's on the side, they mix it all together. All the different types of cakes mix it all together into these like little balls it's almost like a cake pop i think that's what this is it's cake batter they're not macro friendly they have a lot of calories on them 